What's up guys? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. We're here with another discovery video. And this comes courtesy of the company Abel. Uh, based somewhere in Europe. I don't remember. It could be the Netherlands. I'll put it down here because I forgot to review it before I started shooting. Anyway, I heard about this brand actually from Peter from the channel Fragrance View and he spoke very highly of them. He said that they're a great fragrance company that uses all natural ingredients. So I've been hooked ever since. I've been following them on Instagram and they've recently actually started selling I think worldwide, if at the very least, at least to the U.S. Uh, recently, within the past several months. So I'm really excited. I was able to get a sample set. I did actually purchase this myself. So when I said courtesy of, I didn't mean they sent it to me for free. But I did receive it from them. And we're going to literally unbox it here. So I've been sitting on this for weeks. Really, really can't wait to get my nose on these fragrances. So inside this box, we have this little like postcard, which is really nice. It's a gorgeous photo. It says, thank you for your order. Have a seat, take a deep breath, and savor the delights to come. Francis. Thank you, Francis. Really, really nice card. And it kind of helps set up what we're about to go through right now, which adds to the, the flavor and the suspense of this. So here's the box. It actually comes cellophane wrapped, so I'm gonna unwrap it. And I believe there's five fragrances in this set or in their line in general right now. They might be coming out with more this year, but it has this little box. I'm gonna open this up from the top very carefully. Oh, that's why. Okay, nice. If there's anything I would say, I do think this is kind of a risky uh, setup here <laughs> with the sample sitting in like this, especially when you're opening it up for the first time, but we're okay. We didn't break anything, we're good. So it comes with this little booklet. I'm not gonna look at this for the moment. I'll check that out later. Oh, and they gave us test strips. That's so considerate. I don't have to use my crappy little note cards. They gave us test strips, and not only are they just test strips, but I believe they have the names of the fragrances on them. That is really, really thoughtful. You probably can't see that. It's kind of embossed. You may not be able to see it. Each fragrance has its own strip, so we can remember what the fragrance is without having to write the name on it or something. So we'll start with the top one, which is actually White Vetiver, which is actually the one I've been most interested to check out. And what I'm actually going to do with this one, because I've been so intrigued by it, I'm going to put it on skin just to see what we're dealing with. So here it is, the first one in the box, April White Vetiver. And on skin, it will go. I already like what I'm getting in the air. Okay. Very fresh, as you might guess, with vetiver. It's a very clean vetiver. A little bit soapy. Something kind of herbal or culinary in the background. I don't know what the notes of these are at all. I haven't checked them out at all. So I don't know what's going on. I'm going in totally blind. Other than vetiver, which I am kind of getting that grassy rootiness. It is pretty clean though. It's not a dirty vetiver. There might be some citruses involved. Again, it's kind of clean and soapy, very bright. Quality, there's something different to it. This texture is very interesting. This is really interesting. I would like to let this dry down and perhaps speak on it later. But I like what I'm getting in the opening so far. Seems like a very easy to wear fragrance, but not generic. Again, there's some facets of this that I would need to wrap my head around a little bit, but I enjoy this so far. That's why better. Next is going to be in the box. We have Golden Neroli. The next strip up is Golden Neroli. This is a great setup. I love what they're doing here with this. It makes it very easy. Spray it on. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa. Mm -hmm. Definitely neroli, but wow. I'm getting more florals in it than just neroli. Man, this is interesting. It smells very natural for one. It's bright. Again, a little floral. Something sweet about it too. Hmm. That's hard to describe for me. Yeah, it's almost like this. This is probably totally off, but what I'm getting right now is almost an ambery neroli. It's kind of sweet, not very resinous per se, but there's something, something dense in this. This is really pleasant though. Definitely comes across as unisex. This is nice. This is really nice. That's golden neroli. Up next we have red santal, which we can assume is a sandalwood based fragrance. Let's spray it on. I'm a fan of sandalwood. Mmm, yes. Warm, woody, and creamy. Maybe a little bit spicy. Hmm, I couldn't tell you exactly what else is in here. Sandalwood is most definitely at the forefront, but it comes off pretty light and soft and gentle. There's a little bit of a hint of sweetness, but not really, almost. Just, it's, man, this is really nice. And for all of these, I think I would hopefully have listed all the notes on screen as I'm smelling them, even though I don't know what they are right now, but afterwards I will. I definitely get the naturalness of this. This is, it's so smooth and no way abrasive. I don't smell any alcohol or anything like that. It's really good. It's not my favorite one thus far, but it is very good. This is Cobalt Amber. Whoa, this is, oh man. Yeah, the name of this fragrance is perfect. It's definitely amber, it's rich and sweet. And if you didn't know, amber usually is, I mean, it's a fantasy note. There is no amber note you can, there's no amber essential oil you can extract. But you can create the accord by combining some kind of mix of vanilla and labdanum as well as benzoin to get an amber accord. So I'm actually getting a lot of benzoin in this, but it all together comes off as this ambery like texture and scent. This is gorgeous and I think there's something cooling about it, almost something fresh in the background. So you have this like sweet resinous nature in the front and behind it is this cooling freshness. Almost metallic if you think about cobalt. Man, that is gorgeous. This is my favorite so far. The lightness and airiness and the transparency of it does kind of remind me of the transparency present in MFK's Grand Soir. Another amber-based fragrance, labdanum and benzoin, I think, and vanilla. I'm not sure about the labdanum. I need to double check on that, but I think it's in there. It reminds me of that, but this is fresher than that. There's something else in here again that's giving it that like almost cooling, fresh, metallic nature. I love this. This is a love for sure. That's Cobalt Amber. And the last one up here, this is Grey Labdanum. So let's see what this is all about. Mm, this sprayer is a little funky. I think we've got enough on there. Mm, wow. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, Labdanum is Essentially a resin, I think that's extracted from rock rose. Definitely resinous and kind of balsamic. There's a bitterness to it. Mm, it's very deep and rich, but not too thick, barely sweet. And there's something aromatic about it too. This one I would need to grow with a little bit. And definitely try the rest of these on skin for sure. I know that's where they'll really open up. Man, okay, I love the concept of this house thus far. Really kind of highlighting very particular notes with maybe a mix of others in the background. And again, doing it with all natural ingredients. 
Before we go, I want to check on white vetiver one more time. Clear the senses here. Oh yeah, so I'm getting much more vetiver now. It's dried down to more of an earthiness than before. Not quite as clean, but not way in your face, not super bitter, earthy, and dirty like um, Hemingway from Mask Milano. That is a super condensed vetiver bomb with just tons of vetiver of different kinds. Here it is definitely in the forefront, but it's not so pungent. Not exactly what I expected, but I do find it pleasant and I would like to see how it continues to wear after more than just a few minutes. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. I've been wanting to smell this house for a long time. I look forward to checking more of these out on skin, seeing how they wear, and I might end up picking up a full bottle, especially that cobalt amber. If that stuff wears as great on skin as it does on paper, that might be my next buy. That stuff is beautiful. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to check out Able, Able Odor, I think is technically what they're called. I'll link them down below. Check out their discovery set. It was pretty inexpensive. I think I paid like 30 bucks for the five fragrances. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Discovery. Really appreciate it. Peace. I'll see you guys in the next one.